Here we have 3.6 solving a 3 by 3 system of linear equations, problem type 1. So the game plan here when you're solving a 3 by 3 system is that you want to pick two equations, and it doesn't have to be the first, the second, and the third, just two equations, and eliminate a variable. Then you're going to take the third equation and one of these two, you pick. It could be the one that's more convenient for you, but you pick one or two, okay? And then you eliminate the same variable. Eliminate. I'm not spelling that right. The same variable. And what that will do was turn it into a system of two by two equations. So then the next thing you do is solve the resulting two by two um, system. And then once you do that, you can go back to an original plug in values into an original equation. And that will help you find the third value. So let's go ahead and take a look at these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one, this is one, this is two, this is three. Because I noticed that one and three can cancel out the X right away, I'm going to combine one and three, and I'm going to eliminate X. That's important to know which one you're eliminating, because when you pick the second one, and another equation, you have to eliminate the same variable, okay? So I'm gonna take one and three, I'm gonna say two x minus y plus two z equals seven, and then negative two x plus three y minus four z equals negative nine. So those do eliminate, I get two y minus two z equal to negative two. Now I'm gonna take equation two. I have to take equation two because it's the only one I didn't use. And I get to pick either equation one or equation three to use with it. Now I do have to eliminate X again. So that helps you knowing which letter you're trying to eliminate to choose a better option. Since number two has a negative coefficient in front of X, I'm gonna choose one because it already has a positive coefficient in front of X. So I'm gonna pick option one. So then now I have um, 2x minus y plus 2z, which is the top equation, and negative x plus 2y minus 2z, which equals negative 6, is the second equation. Now in order for me to cancel these out, I am going to have to multiply the bottom one by a 2. So then I get negative 2x, positive 4y, and a negative 4z equal to a negative 12. That's the, the new equation two. I'm gonna put equation one right underneath. I'm not gonna change anything about it. Just want them next to each other so that when I add them together, I can clearly see where everything's coming from, okay? So these will cancel again, which was the goal, and we get three y minus two z equal to negative five. Now what we have to do is we have to take these two equations that we now created and we have to solve this system, okay? So this is the system, we, the resulting system we need to solve. And I can do that by eliminating the z. So I'm gonna take this top equation and multiply it by a negative one and I get negative two y, I get a positive two z, and then that becomes positive two. So then three y minus two y is just one y. The z's will cancel. Negative five plus a positive two is negative three. So I now know the y value. I have to go back to my system to figure out what the x, or I'm sorry, not x, there's no x's here, what the z value is. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick the one that is inside the red bars and I'm gonna plug in my y value, and I'm gonna try to figure out what z is. So I get negative six 
minus 2z equal negative 2. If I add 6 over, I get negative 2z equals 4. And then if I divide by negative 2, I end up with z equaling negative 2. Now I'm finally at the very last step. And the very last step is to take the two numbers you just found and plug them into one of the original equations to find out the missing variable, which is x, because that's the one I got rid of at the very beginning. So I'm going to use the top equation. I have 2x minus y, which is negative 3, plus 2z, which is negative 2, and that should equal 7 according to the top equation. So this becomes 2x plus 3 minus 4 equal to 7, or 2x minus 1 equal to 7. I can add 1 over to the other side. I will get 2x equals to 8. If I divide both sides by 2, I get x equal to 4. So now if I want my solution, they usually want it in the x, y, and z point format. So my x value is 4, my y value is negative 3, and my z value is negative 2. And so this is the solution.